And now, you know what I didn't do? I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's see if this is the good one. Because I didn't Hello? <laughs> Hello? Are you going to hear me? I can't. I didn't test which one was the static one. Let me see if they can hear. Can y'all hear? Can you guys hear me? My name is Randy Jones, and I'm with Incredible Tiny Homes. No, you're not with Incredible Tiny Homes. You are Incredible Tiny Homes. Can no. you rephrase that, sir? Uh, I just visit here. <laughs> You you just write checks. I just fly in, fly well, out. You don't even write the checks. No, I'm not. I'm no. not really anything here. <laughs> How many days you gonna wear that blue shirt? I have one for every day. Brand new shirt. Brand new shirt. Okay, they even, can hear. It's a good one. Even though my face doesn't look like it's been shaved, but well, that's in though. I'm not that kind of in guy. I, know. I I don't have to look scruffy, be like I'm. I'm a rough old boy because I don't shave. Well, that doesn't make you a rough old boy. What about no shave November? You heard of that? They do that, you know? You know, I'm part Choctaw, Cherokee, Stop it. and Cheyenne. Stop. So I don't have a lot you know of what? facial you hair. You pick a different tribe every time when you say well, that you're Indian. That's my people. You, Randy, do you, have, you do have some Indian in you. Do you not? Some you Native American... I asked my dad, I said, Dad, why does our grandpa look like Geronimo? He does. You have, they're very dark skinned. I was, why does he look like Geronimo in all the pictures in the westerns and everything? Yeah. High cheekbone, big no rods, tough, yeah, dark exactly. hair. exactly. You have it in Dad you. said to me, hell, and I know. <laughs> he didn't know. He said, I never asked nobody nothing. He, said we're, too, he said, we're too busy looking for food. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? We're gonna, hey, let's do one of those tests on you and see everything that's got in you. Let's do that. That'd be great. Okay. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> You'd be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh huh. Okay. So I'm eating. I gotta have some nourishment. Did I tell everybody I get up 4:30 every morning and go work out? And also, I mean, you've told everybody I went, else that. I went vegan morning. about two and a half years ago, and my allergies went away. So I don't know what happened, but we city about a week ago Stop. went up there and they fill infiltrated me with sin. They gave me oh. eggs and milk and dairy and meat and all that stuff, oh. and I didn't want it, but they force-fed me. Okay. And when I come back, I was just infected. I'm glad I don't have a and microphone. So now I've been purifying my body. I can, I'm so glad I just don't have a microphone. So I've been eating nothing but, and nothing but lettuce and grass. I've been grazing out here every morning eating everything I could. And so I, now I'm eating organic apples and everything. I'm hoping my blood will be purified. If I have to hear about And my nasal apple, cavities will be pure again. And your, no allergies and all this stuff, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go insane. Let me guess, and you never get sick. Never. I want to make sure that Alyssa hears this too. Alyssa, did you hear Randy said he never gets sick? Hasn't been sick in, what, years? <laughs> I got the COVID. No, I'm just teasing. All right. I'm self-vaccinating. You're self-vaccinating? Amber said, we heard. Everybody knows you get up at 4.30. Okay. Well, good. I just got to remind everybody that. I try to, like, motivate everybody to, you know, get all you can out of life, you know? Don't that, that's sleep. Not, we don't, that's don't not sleep. life. Because like Arnold said, if you don't have time to sleep, sleep faster. Isn't that cool? I love it. Anyway, excuse me for picking my teeth. All right, here we go. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes. My name's Randy Jones, and I reside in Newport, Tennessee, 850 Industrial Road. Come slip my throat. All right. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some houses. We're going to run through. We're going to do like how Amanda, when she goes speed dating, she sets up 10 guys and they just boom, 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 boom. And she goes through them. Usually none of them come back. All right. Yeah. So, but she's going to go through 10. I send them packing. So we're going to go through all these houses, mm -hmm. right? And try to give you guys a, just a bombardment of floor plans, ideas, stuff. It's kind of fun. You've been through a bunch of them already, but They've been out here parking. They'll probably never leave. They'll probably just rot right here on the concrete. <laughs> but we'll take you out here and show you everything that's going on, all right? <laughs> we have got so many homes to build. So and, many. Uh, we just now, we've got like, I'm talking, they're backing up. People are screaming, screaming. These are people that just sold, needed in their homes. The rental kit, the rental industry is real big. Mm -hmm. We've got investors needing homes. We've got people needing homes. The community is coming on. I love it. I love all the pressure. I love all the work coming in. We're hiring a couple guys. I got them texting me right now. So we're bringing on more men, more people. Um, but that's a good thing, right? And Eric said, "Do you don't you call these partnerships?" But we don't anymore because we were we were told that's really not what it is. It's a subcontractor, right? Eric, you know what? 
Have you, have you ever had an attorney talk to you? <laughs> Attorneys are the worst. Necessary evils. Don't Ours call them partnerships, nice. Randy. <laughs> oh, God. They tell us everything not to do. Whatever. It's, it's a wonder I'm even standing here. You know, partner, I mean, an attorney would say, don't, you know. Anyway, <laughs> they're guys that build homes for us. So yeah, I don't know what exactly. we'll do that. There you go. Guys that, so G T B G. <laughs> anyway, Stop. We'll abbreviate right. it. Yep. So, yeah. Okay. Um, we do have hourly guys, though, that come on. So a lot of times the guys that are locally that they don't, you know, they've never built our home. So you just don't come in here and you're a partnership. Right. You've got to come here and train. And the best route is to come in here and work by the hour. Now, I've got a couple guys who are very, very, they're like contractors, and they don't want to build for customers mm -hmm. anymore. They don't want to run the roads. They don't want to be self-employed out there and look for work and deal with collecting money. You know, it's a, I've done it all, most of my life. Coming here, we alleviate all that headache for the guys. So if they're self-employed, they come here, they don't have to collect money. Mm -hmm. They don't have to look for jobs. They don't have to look for their materials. They don't have to run to Lowe's and spend 45 minutes to an hour every morning in Lowe's or Home Depot trying to get somebody to wait on them, right? Or wait for some others. No, we have it right here ready for them. That way, if you put all that together, the time and making the money, the convenience and not having to deal with all that stuff, oh my God, you put a price tag on that, mm -hmm. me, myself, that's a big price tag for me being a carpenter. I would love to come right here, build my house. I just went to Lowe's this morning and I saw all the contractors standing there. They got a buggies full. Oh, Ugh, it's terrible. What a Randy waste. Randy hates that. I remember I worked for a guy when I was really young. We yes. went into a hardware store, went to a lumber yard. Went in there and we're waiting in line. Oh my God, the, yeah. the contractor that I was with. He lost his mind. Ah. He said, do you realize that you're taking food out of my kid's plate, right? Yeah. Because he's standing there not making any money. money. When you're right. self-employed, that means that you don't work, you don't get paid. That's right. That's a whole different mindset, man. You don't, you don't work, have a you bank, don't you don't have a dad, you don't have a friend, you don't have nobody to feed you no. unless you get your body up in the morning That's and right. make it happen. And when you go to Lowe's, standing there, sitting there, and them guys got 14 other people to wait on, mm -hmm. and you're waiting on your stuff, so unless you do it the night before, you've worked till 7, and you got till 9 o'clock to collect all your stuff so you can get up at 5 and go to the next morning and not wait in the morning. That's right. That's, I don't know if anybody's ever lived in that lifestyle before. There are probably some tradesmen that have. You don't get rich doing this. No. You don't make a lot of money doing this. You know what you do? You get to be your own boss. Mm -hmm. And so we implement that here in this company. You're your own boss. We help you. And that's why I like calling it a partnership. Because I want to help these guys perform. I want them to be mm -hmm. independent. And I want them to be creative. You know? And so, and not have to deal with all the headaches. We take those headaches on because I don't mind talking to customers and getting blueprints and ordering materials. And we've got a ton of overhead here. We got probably a more ton. overhead than what, than what we probably bring in. Yeah. And, but it's to keep this machine going. And as this machine can grow and be more profitable, one day we'll be able to say, hey, we got something that's rolling pretty good. You that's know? right. Okay. So, all right, let's go. Let's do Great. some homes. I know I'm so willing to go in that, but I'm going to wait for we're Becky and wait. Will. They're yeah. going to get ready to move their house, too. I yep. gotta, I got to zoom in here. Yeah, as a man. There's Tom. <laughs> He's out disappearing. He's out of here, man. It's a heck of a man. <laughs> uh, you've all seen Judith. This is just out here. It's in it's front of us right now. We didn't mean to even pick this house out uh, in front of everybody. But it's a 10 by 26. It's all one floor plan. Uh, Amanda, we can poke our head in here. It's real cool. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Scott, we've had uh, Bart work on it, and then Scott took it over. They both are very good craftsmen. You can see the artwork here that um, that Scott has done for that partition kind of obscured wall. That looks great. He did a great job. And in behind there, she's going to have a little small fold-out bed, washer and dryer, and a bathroom. And over here is the kitchen living room that Amanda's looking at now. Mm -hmm. And it's 10 by 26, all on a floor plan. Tongue and groove yellow pine on the floor can be finished. She's going to want us all whitewashed. I don't know how in the world you're going to whitewash all them little sticks. I don't either. I don't want to do it. No. No, 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 no. Those slats, that's hard to do. Um, and we're waiting on her kitchen and stuff being, to be built. They're in their right? building. I'm trying to get people to say, hey, 
you know, let us buy your cabinets because we got a company that buys that builds all wood cabinets. Let me can we look at it from the end door or see if that door's unlocked. Yeah. And it'll give a straight shot in. Yeah, but our little cabinet shop can't keep up building, you yeah. know, 300 kitchens a year, you know. What size door is that? I love that little That's door. That's a 2-0, two foot. Love that little Yeah, two it's foot. the wrong swing. We got to get a new door and put it on and swing oh, it the other high. way. Okay, there we go. Look how beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I love that one level. I would do a one level. You know? Yep. Wouldn't you? Up. And what's, you know what's really odd, and I know why they put this door in here. There's a wall right here. Yeah. One million doors out of a, one million minus one, all swing to the right with the switches here. And she wanted it the opposite. So when you open the door, you walk right into the wall. Oh, I but see. But that's what we do here. Right. We do custom. Mm -hmm. So we got to take the door out. Yeah. Put a new door in. Now this is the maintenance free siding. We call it low maintenance free siding. And this is the first one with the with the uh the wood kind of stain look. Yeah. Um the reason this is out here is because our windows have been back ordered. Yes. And so Mike had to stop this one, start another one mm -hmm. to go back to this one. We're done. I think the inside's done. Let's go back here, Amanda. I think this one's savage. I don't know if we did uh how much on the inside or not. Let's see what we got. Yeah, oh my gosh, look at this, Amanda. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. Can you, can you scooch up there? Yeah, if you pull me up there. Pull or push? Well, see, you're doing fine. Look at you I twisting. I need, I need like. Uh, I'll push you. <laughs> look at you. You're great. Just don't get a sliver in your oh, little tail. Jackie. Oh my God. Okay. Awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, pretty. Wow. I think this wow. is 30 foot long. Holy cow. Yep. Hello. Windows must have just came in. They put them inside here. Oh, wow. Washer and dryer. Across here is your kitchen. Amber said it's a 32. 32. Thank you, Amber. Wow, this so, is big. And you know, Amanda, I love it. You know why I love it? I'm taking so much pride in this. This is a 32 foot RJO. 32 foot RJO. You think about it. Wash and dryer on the left, right? <coughs> Kitchen on the right, done. And then you've got this massive room. Look at. Wow. You can go to a manufactured home, you can go to Clayton Mobile Homes, you can go to all these guys, and I don't know why they're architects. Want to fill it full of stuff. They do. But look at this, how open this stuff is. Look. Look at this room. You know what this makes you feel like? It makes you feel like you're in a home that's two or three times the square foot of what it really is. Look at me back here. Like, I'm way back here. 10 by 32. I remember designing a home, Amanda. I'm going to come out to you guys about saving money. This has got electric water heater and it's up in the loft. Yeah. Look at all the living space. I could have a full bed down here that could fold up into a sofa or just leave it out. Just like, like when you were a kid, you go to grandma's house, there's a bed right off in the living room or off of a family room. It's made up real pretty. Then you've got a full living room in here, right? You got your wow. mini split. You got room for a dining room table here. You got a full kitchen, bathroom, and then you can throw the kids up there if they come and visit. Man. And you hope they never do. Wow. I'm going to tell you, and I know you know this, but why they design everything in it like that, it's because that's what people think they need. They need. From their big house. From their big house. Yep. They want it to look exactly so much like a big house that you Put everything in a dishwasher, uh, the, all the, the what, all these things. Yep. Instead of it's the approach, just in life in general, is not to do with less. It's what more can I stick in this tiny home because I need everything. You know, that's where most of the money comes. It is. 
is. This is the most bang for your buck right yes. here. You get the most square footage because yes. it's really just an RJO gable and they throw a dormer on there. Yes. And I can understand that for the kids or guests who want to come by. Right. Just a ladder. You don't have a staircase to worry about. It's not stuck out here in the middle of the living room. Me personally, and I think most people, even younger people, man, to believe it or not, want to sleep on the main floor. Really? Now, I do. we came up with that design, you know, that Ashley design with the kitchen and all that mm -hmm. stuff with the staircase, hidden, but it made your bathroom smaller. Yeah. But if you want a staircase away, I think you still have all this massive room in here, I right? I would have the staircase. Yeah. I would have it. But you got to have another dormer or flip the dormer on the other side. Right, correct. Other than that, everybody, this is your most bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. So this is what we call an RJO floor plan. RJO, mm -hmm. Randy Jones, Jones original. original. And so it's kitchen bathroom on one end. Kitchen That's bathroom. It. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Now, I know people are saying, well, I'd have a French door here, and I'd have sliding glasses, and I'd put my refrigerator back there. Is that how they talk? Not that over Is there. Is that how they talk? And I'd do all that over there. <laughs> Are you talking like a woman? No. It sounds like I it. can't talk like a woman. <laughs> Randy, can you show this big sink real quick? I like to see big stuff. Blue. Hello, hello, hello. There it is. I'm going to keep blue. it. was already blue. No sound. How about now? Because it wasn't going back and forth. You know, when. Uh, I wonder why. I may have hit it when I bent over or something, you know, a little button. It. it looks, it shows that my voice is detecting. Can you guys hear me now? Hi. No sound back. Hi. Good. We're Hi. back. Hi. Hi. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Thank well, you. Okay. All right. I think. Let's keep it out. Maybe when I bend over, it hits that button or something. I think it does. Let me put it right there. There you go. I'm trying to be where this is supposed to be kind of like, you know, you don't see he's got a microphone on, but I need one of them. Hey, I need one of them. Stop. Hey, who's that guy Stop. that does all the motivational speakers? Tony Robbins. Yeah. Stop. And, and you he's don't got know a, him. He's got a little rod right there. Yeah. And he talks about positive things. A little rod right there. He talks in it. Yeah. It's like the secret service. You know what? I, you know what? The only reason I'm going to get off the subject here for a second. The only thing that makes me mad about these motivational speaker people, yes. the whole thing, the whole thing is about money. Oh, yeah. The same with the preachers and the TV evangelists. It's about money. Mm -hmm. Money is the answer, everybody, to your question. You know, all your problems is money. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it ain't. But Amanda would. Uh, listen, I'm not, if, <laughs> it's my problem. <laughs> it's my problem. Y'all can help me with that. That'd be all right. Now, how am I going to get down? Here, let me film you. No, it, no. Get on your tail. You got to get down the same way you got up. I got man, your phone is hot, man. I, it always gets hot, I know. I got nothing to hold on to. There's... I get down. I'm going to fall out. You would think somebody would build some steps. You don't have time for railings and sweep everything up around look, here. Randy, they wouldn't look. have tires running around. Look. You're My. packed. This place is nasty. Lord. Hey, it's way better than what it used to be. How did it used to be? Nicely. <laughs> it used to be pretty rough. Let's see what we got here, Amanda. We have to scooch up in this one, too. Oh, my God. Let me see what we got. And they just text me, and I didn't get checked to get back with them. I hope um, they're... Wanting their home in Washington, I think. It is about done. Yeah, this is. I hope you're watching, and I, I'm sorry to get the checks to you back. It's been slammed today. Um, this is Jill. Jill, I don't want to say the whole, you know, your whole name and everything, but you all texted me this morning. We're going to go in. I know 
All we have is the kitchen cabinets here. Okay. They need to, no, the kitchen hey, cabinets Neil. are there. What goes, oh, it's ready. Everything's here. Is the cabinets, ready? everything are in here. Yeah, get in there. Well, old man. Look at, yeah, look, watch. Look, look, man, you just. <laughs> Crawl around. So, yes, Jill, uh, I don't know the specifics, and I'm kind of glad because I'm trying to delegate all these jobs, so I'm not got it always on my mind. Um, Mary know. said, ha ha, I said, uh, what did you say? I'm getting her my exercise, and who was it said? Uh, Stella said I needed a good life this morning. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, look okay. at that. Oh, here we got the. Floor oh, this floor is nice too. This, this is a. <clears throat> now this we were just in ten by thirty two. This is an eight by twenty. Eight by twenty. This is twenty. In this gorgeous. Oh, this is big. So. Oh, it feels bigger. So you still got. Again, <laughs> I love it. everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. Mm -hmm. Big living room. They're tweaking it a little bit. You know, man, I bet I don't think they realize the influence that I'm having on them because it's subliminal. But I'm actually influencing a lot of people, man. Look, see the oh floor plan. Oh my God, you're an influencer. See the floor plan? It's all open. I say it. Staircase going up, right? Here's your it's kitchen. It's Jamie's house, not Jill. You, who are you talking to? I got right there. All right, let's just let's say everybody. I got on here. It says on here, unless it's wrong. I got Chase Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. So and there is a Jill. And that says Jill on there. It says Jill. So we gave everything away except for their social security number. Yeah. Over here is the washer and dryer. Jill, this isn't your house. It's on the floor. They just wrote on the back of that or something. It's on the front of it. They put the wrong thing on it. Then I'll be darned. Yeah. So whose house is it, Amber? I ain't got an idea. Ask Amber whose house Well, that's is. great. We got we don't even know whose house we're in. Whose house is it? 36-inch shower. And whose house is it, Amber? So then we put a Jamie's. compost toilet right here. Whoever Jamie. We got a sink, tank this water here. Amanda's not gonna come in here because she just wants to keep on going on. <laughs> There's no toilet. I want to know. This is Jamie Shelton. Okay, see this right here? See, look, somebody built wood hinges. That is so cute. All right, I want to know who had that kind of time. You know what I'm saying? To build wood hinges. I mean, that's... That is awesome. That is awesome. Amazing. Eric says since it's nobody's house, it's his now. He's claiming Eric, it. I agree. I'm going to say it's Eric's, Eric's house. house. That's I right. Agree. But we're not in here to know whose house it is. No. Even though I like to tell the homeowners so they can get excited about it's seeing Jamie it. It's Jamie Shelton's. This is who it is. I don't believe that either. So, <laughs> so you got bathroom in the back. But that bathroom's loaded. Shower, sink, mm -hmm. toilet, water heater, everything inside. You so you all, hey, just to let you guys know, hey. this, shot, this bathroom's 36 inches deep. Okay, 36 right? inches. So it's 36 by you know eight foot minus eight inches so it's what seven foot four inches yep 84 88 eight, about 89 90 inches is our depth of our the width of our homes so this is 36 all right okay 36 so you get your toilet your water heater a sink is 36 is, is that thir three feet three feet foot <sighs> <laughs> You see everybody? <laughs> it, hey, bless her heart. <laughs> bless her heart. I taught that to Matthew and them up at Long Island. Yeah. I taught them when. Oh, he caught when him too. He did. He said, oh. he Because I said it to him. I said, oh, bless your heart. And he went, oh, oh. I know what you mean. And I went, oh. Yeah, we feel sorry for you. <laughs> You're worthless. <laughs> yep. So what do we got going Fridge. here? Fridge. Fridge. Wash and dryer. Wash and dryer. Storage, storage underneath the steps. Storage, storage. Now, the steps. everybody, let me, hey, let's walk up the steps. Okay, number, you ain't gonna wanna know this. No, don't But it ain't Shelton's house either. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought I don't wanna know. All right, I'm gonna give it to Eric. <laughs> look, look at my head. Look, oh. see, so these stairs, oh. 
As you can see, look, I'm missing. Missing. Perfect. Perfect. See that? Yep. There you go. You can sit on your bed. Okay. And it's nice. No. Okay, show it from a bar. No, it's really steep. Okay, the steps. <coughs> there you guys go. I don't know why you gave me this, man. It gets all blurry up here. Anyway. I mean, there's. It's just an it's empty room. Size, but queen size bed easily in here. 88 inches is the width, but then you've got the thickness of your mattress, so it would bring it more over that way. Stop, man. <laughs> here. I'm in no mood to work. <laughs> so, once you get here, people ask us, what about hand rails? Now, good question. Now, yeah. And this is how I feel about hand rails. Because the steps are just different than a regular home, I think we've had people, they put in their own hand rails. Yes. Like right here, right now, I can see, I probably want one right here. Right. So I might put a grab bar in front of me. Right. So when I'm going down, I, I can say. grab with this hand, and I'm gonna go down just like this. Mm -hmm. I might put one more right here, mm -hmm. you know? And then I'm gonna go down this way. I may come up, I don't think I need one right here, because it's gonna be in my way coming down. But everybody, I don't have a tape on me, but if I step this off, that's three, right? You're probably looking at about 50 inches, 50 inches of staircases going up uh, better than um, almost six foot. Mm -hmm. So these risers, but it was pretty comfortable coming down. I really like these steps. I do too. I like how they're laying out. The dormer is pushed out two foot, mm -hmm. but this allows me, like right now, if this, if these steps came out this way, I'm gonna be hitting my head right here. Right. But because they turn and I'm coming, up, I'm already underneath the dormer's headroom. Right. We've had customers that we had this taken care of. Yeah. But they didn't want this step up mm -hmm. before, because of some odd reason. So we changed the whole step after it was built and then they potentially could get injured. That's right. You know, so now we're going to have to have people sign off that if they change their steps, we're not responsible. Right. You know? Yep. You have to think about, listen, there is always, always a sacrifice when it comes to stairs in a tiny oh, house. There's just no there, it's room, a sacrifice man. and it is something you have to be so aware of yeah. that you have to, it's not going down normal stairs. You're not gonna run up and down the stairs. That's not how it's gonna be. Well, these steps are not to code mm -hmm. at a residential building code. Right. They're not wide enough. The treads are too tall. Correct. Uh, they're too steep. Right. Everything about it is wrong, mm -hmm. okay? Beautiful in a tiny home. Right. And that's why, I like tiny homes are different than a manufactured home, a residential home, is because we're allowed to be creative. Well, and talk about that, because you know what people say, okay, it's not a, to code, but it's different for tiny homes. Yeah, well, you know, there is no national tiny right. home code. Mm -hmm. All right, so I could still just build any tiny home I want. It doesn't have to be ANSI certified, it doesn't have to be nothing. Nope. If you all like the home I'm building, which I created a whole business like that for the first five years we've been in business. Right. People bought our homes with no certifications. Yeah. Nothing. Correct. The only reason we got certification was for financing. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason we got an ANSI. Well, and for the community. And FPA. Yeah. Well, then we started developing here and they needed a third party, so we got it there. You don't have to have ANSI. You know what you need to do? You need to watch how we build, trust how we build, come and watch us build your home. Come here, visit, look at our videos, take pic, you know, our pictures that we send you, and then you can tell this home was built. And just to reiterate, because somebody's asking about the closet, where you hang your clothes, things like that. Yeah. Every house custom built. is custom built. So if there's not a closet, if there's not space, if there's something that you're seeing that you would have had, that person did not want that. And that's why we're running through 14,000 floor plans for you. So you can say, you can, and I love it, because sure, I'm sure if mm -hmm. I was in your house, well, I wouldn't have that, or I wouldn't have right. this, or I like different. this, I like mm -hmm. that. So wherever we go, this is just to give you guys an idea yes. of all the awesome people that's invested in our yeah. company to build them their home. Yeah. Some people that I know of, they've got freestanding amwires they're wanting to put. Mm -hmm. They've got dressers they want to put. They've got them back here. They want to, you know, they've got their ideas mm -hmm. of laid out. I, I know we went to Donna's house. Mm -hmm. 
she said I wanted to leave it empty and she bought stuff to go she in did. there. You know, um, I don't want to say their names. There's a couple right. other ones did the same thing. They bought furniture instead of having it built in. We've had them built in place and I swear it makes it feel like the whole house just is a quarter the size of what it normally would be mm -hmm. because they filled it full of cabinets and shelves and, and staircases and it's like now you're walking through a little tunnel and you don't have a place to sit down. Hey, remind me at the end of the show, I've got an announcement that I want to tell. Okay? You won't remember. Uh, I know I will. That's why I just told you. Um, I got a question. You won't remember the announcement. No, I will. Okay. I, I know what it is. Right. Maybe. I don't know. What's this? That is their tanks underneath. They're gray water, black, fresh water tanks. So what do you do with it? What does that mean? That's a monitor to let you know if it's full or not. Oh, so it's hooked up to something. I didn't know that. The tanks, the level of the tanks. So how much fluid gets in the tanks so they I can dump them. Like an RV. Oh, so it's something that's electronic that lets it's you It's just know. you got a tank under the house. Mm -hmm. And then when it, when the, like if you're using the water in here and it fills up. Yeah. A little red light and it shows you how full they are. So you can I dump didn't them. know that. Well, you do now. Well, I guess so. Sure, ma'am. What was this again? What, 10 by, what was it? I, you know, I really don't know anymore. Oh, we don't know. That's right. No, we don't even know whose house it is. It's what? Eric's. <laughs> it's Eric's house. It's Eric's house. I, please, I wish you'd get me crawling around. Uh, here we go. All right. Beautiful home. I could step it off to see how long it is. One. Look at. I mean, why would they it's put right. that, that paper on there? That's a scrap paper. I, I, could, I don't know. Man, that's frustrating. It is. Uh, seven twenty-one twenty-two. Okay. Yep. There you go. Here's our. Uh, oh gosh, our out of the country home. Oh right yeah, there, the blue one. That. We walked through that one the other day. Dominican Republic, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. We walked through that one. That is the same color as the teal you picked for the container, the first container. That's the same color. And that, it just That's just your that's color. That's my color, man. Yep. And then we have this one here. Let's walk through this one. We got Jeremy working on it a little bit. Okay. Open it up. Leave I think when Pat gets back from uh, Colorado. Okay. Item now, yeah, we'll let them look at them and see. Tennessee spelt wrong. <laughs> That's awesome, Jeremy. How big is this house? Do you know? Nobody knows. Well, 18, no, 8 by 22, I think it is. 8 by 22. Ooh. It's right up there in the specs on that paper. I think it was 8 by 22. Ah, that's all right. Don't worry about it. You know, nobody knows anymore. We don't even know who what we're doing. <laughs> I go from so many different homes. I know there. it. I'm eight, sorry. By 18, eight, eight by 18. 18. 18. Okay, good. Eight by 18. So, this is an example of. Ah, Jesse said blue for twisty misty. <laughs> so, this has got a Randy rack in here. Yes. A big wide one. It's like 12, 15 inch. Fridge. Oh my goodness. Let me go on this side and show. Yep. There's that flooring again. This flooring looks nice. So it's really nice to be able to get your kitchen and everything and bathroom. And this has got the same bathroom, 36 inches deep, water heater, sink, shower, kitchen, cooktop, range hood, double bowl sink. This drawer goes under that sofa. So this is actually a sleeper storage sofa that we build here at Incredible Tiny Homes. Yeah. Oh, look, it's rounded. They've rounded the edges. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, that's like a full-on um, building furniture. Oh, yeah. Look, Linda. Isn't that full? Oh, yeah. Now, that's what you need. Need you now. Oh. There's what's missing. Then you pull the drawers out, flip this one over, and then you've got a queen-size bed. Yes. That's awesome. 
And then this is a flip up table, right? I love how they're doing them now. Yeah, these, we got these mechanisms got under the here now. Things. The what are they called? <laughs> the clicky things. Yes, those are way better. Yep. I like that. And then you click it up. Done. Yes. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Panel boxes under there. A good hiding place. Perfect. That's yes. called well designed home. <laughs> hey, how do you place outlets? and stuff all right so how we do it is we walk through a house like we live in the house mm -hmm. so like right here i can look at my hair dryer like you got your sofa well you can't put it behind the sofa you won't reach we had to raise that one up mm -hmm. all right here's a table the table you got a plug there and a plug there on each side of that right so if you want to put a chair here you got a plug on either side right so we got we put it probably put ample enough plugs that you need. We put some wall sconce in case you don't want to use your mm -hmm. your ceiling fan and you don't have room for a lamp. I've been putting wall sconces in a lot of homes. Uh, you can put a dimmer on them later if you want, but this is a wall sconce in, say, in case you don't want to use that. Right. Kitchen. Other than that, the lights and plugs are pretty oh, simple. Sugar. In the kitchen, we don't have a lot of a lot of countertop space in this one, so this one's really a challenge. As you can see, there's four right here. Now these are two home runs, so that's got a breaker and that's got a breaker, but there's no countertop space. So really, you have a small coffee pot right there. You got to make do with what you have, and that's part of being a, right. up here. You got a plug for your microwave. Mm -hmm. Okay, over here you got your washer and dryer with your plug, and then you've got a plug for your refrigerator. Right. So it's pretty simple. We got lights in here. Mm -hmm. Inside this trough is electrical. So what we'll do is we we'll usually come up up the window, come in through here, and we got a wire that comes down. Oh, it's just like a couple of inches. Loops there, comes right? down. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's an inch and a half. And then over here we got the plug. We we'll turn it off, off and on. Okay. In the bathroom, the same way. We try to, we try to put two lights inside, yeah. and those those LED lights are massive bright. They are. One would do it. Of course, you got your ceiling fan. Now, let me ask you this: Do they have? Because um, the electrical guy just come to my house. You pull the thing down, and there's like a, a thing on the back that you push, and it has different uh, settings of brightness. Okay, maybe it's not, it's not the same thing. Okay, I was just asking. There's all kinds of different lights. Yeah. I don't know what kind he got, but there's a thing on the back, and it has a six different settings, and it can go bright, lighter, natural, blah, blah, blah. So, I was just curious. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So, blah, blah, blah rundown that you rudely interrupted, Amanda. I know. Well, what's new? <laughs> <coughs> I'm on the last of my allergies out the door. I've been taking garlic for it. Okay. Yep, that's it, man. Okay. Let, Thank let's you, just, Jeremy. Hey, let's poke our head in here real quick again, just for the heck of it. I think she'd love to have her house seen again. Um, oh, yeah. She's got, I like, okay, we're going, we're going to the Caribbean. Right, so if they have hurricanes and stuff, she can still cook with gas, gas water heater, gas here. Got some electric, got a generator, mini split up here. I love it because you got this all this open air, French doors, window, two windows, snack bar. I like the snack bar. This Manda is going on a rental program. Is it? So I'm going over there and gonna spend about three or four weeks surfing, kicking back. And drinking pina coladas. Well, there you go. Right. I wish I could. Refrigerator underneath here. Compost toilet. Because if they have a problem with their sewer. Mm -hmm. So it's really great because the compost toilet, all you need to do is contend with your gray water. And I don't think they have an I issue with that. Some places can have a compost and some can't. It's the laws. You know, it's the code where you're at. So theirs is fine. That's great. Yeah. It's very nice. Go. Very clean. Now the back is kind of big because it's got a large shower. And it's got some storage on this side. I was going to try to oh, crawl good. in so there. Oh, good. So it's got like a... I don't think that's going to be big enough. Oh, that's me. little. Yeah. Little. But that's good. That's enough. And my, my big old chest can't don't get, get in, in there. there. Look, I'm just so massive. <laughs> what a man. What a man. What a man. What are your big old man? He ain't shaving three days. <laughs> There's the closet. And these blinds. I love these, don't you? Oh, those can't, if you can afford those extras, that's, you never Man, have to go with it. I love it. You don't have to clean them or nothing. Yeah, hey, look, you can do SOS. <laughs> Morse code. Hey, come get me hey. away from 
her. her. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, so sad. All right, and the loft upstairs with a ladder that goes up, okay? Let me show that. Love it. That's a double dormer. Yeah. So there's a lot of space up there, man. You can so have let me a ask you big, the You could have a big California king size bed. Ask me. Um, there still is the what you have to contend with, which that's a lot of counter space here. I love that. Um, when you have a ladder, where do you keep your ladder? That's with any tiny home. Where do you keep it? I throw it out the yard. Well, I know you would. <laughs> I know where it would be if you had one. I can't stand ladders. Yeah. Yeah, but I know you gotta have them. You gotta have them. So where do you keep them? I, you know, this ladder would probably go against the wall. I know. What do you and I know you're gonna have a chair there, you know, or against this wall. No, but you got a light stop. switch there. But it is it is a pain? It is. You know, when I first built our homes, I had a ladder. We make them out of pretty wood now, and they're heavy, and they're but they look nice, right? They do. Yeah. I like taking an aluminum ladder, cutting it in half, the back side off, spray painting it black. Yeah. And it's super lightweight. You could take that thing, just toss it up there, grab it, pull it back down. Right, you know? right. But that's probably too, that's not, uh, uh, what do you call it, sophisticated enough. I know, right. I know yeah. what you're saying. All right, let's go. Yeah. Eric said on the ceiling. I've seen some people put them on the ceiling. I don't know how, I don't know where, if I could Where did you it. see that? Man? I don't know where I could. I want to know where you've seen that. <laughs> None of your business. None of your business, Street. Have you been out and back. about? Have you been out and about, Manda, in tiny homes? Moving on. All right. <laughs> I love secrets. <laughs> I'm not even going to read the stickers on these. Oh, don't read it. We don't know whose it is. So look. Oh. You're going to twist the up well, there? Well, yeah. What's that different? Oh, Hold look, this. Listen, this is another one. Hold with on. The big living room. Don't have. Come on, there's a sign in here. Look at her. Hey, what do you call it? Tuck, duck, and roll? <laughs> you said tuck, duck. <laughs> tuck, duck, and roll. <laughs> stop, stop and stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> you said tuck, duck, and roll. Oh, God. What a mess. I wouldn't watch his show. Look. They <laughs> Subliminal floor plan. What is subliminal? I don't know. What does it mean? That's like osmosis. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Quit saying something. That's when all know. the plants turn green. Oh, look, good. Okay. Look here. See this? Oh. Big living room. Also. What's in two things up there in the corner? Three O. That's for their speakers for rapping. What? <laughs> <laughs> These are 3040 sliders. Oh, yeah. They're not any extra more money if you want this. They're sliders. And look at this beautiful picture window overlooking. Beautiful. Wherever you're at. Uh, next door. Next door. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So you got this big living room again, entry on the side, washer and dryer behind the door. Yeah. That's kind of a cool place to put the washer and dryer. Because oh, this yeah. is a dead area, and they just brought it over behind the door, which is kind of good. They shoved well, it down a little true. bit. that's true. Okay. A point of interest you might think about when you're designing, the door, where to put it. So I always put a door where there's a high traffic area. Why am I liking these slider windows better? Is it because, are these think, longer, or are they placed lower, or something? Buzzards Bay, Massachusetts calling me. What? You're, you're busy? I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> These look taller, or so I like these better. Is that the same? Is that the standard size? Oh. 3040. Oh, wait. sliders. Yeah, they look nice. It looks different. They in look here, nice maybe. in here. Yep. I like that. <clears throat> Big window, of course. Let me go back here and show. Now listen, we're going through these these homes, not picking out details of quality, <laughs> which we could, but I'm just going through floor plans today. Okay. Yeah. So. 
how long the position Yeah, she said, she said, I think I do too. Here's Eight the ones I don't like. This is the size. I'm never crazy about that. That's a 3030 slider. These longer ones, I'm liking that better. Me too. Huh. This is a 3030 slider. Okay. Another, this is a 2030 slider. Oh. They're all sliders. Now, this is a cool, now this is a complete RJO again, Amanda. Yeah, that's right. Kitchen, bathroom on the end, done. That's true. And everybody, look at this big, huge living room. Yeah. And this is an 8x20. Uh, do these, do the slider windows come with screens? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All open, opening windows come with screens. Oh, do they? Yes. Okay, oh, that's good. Okay. So, in the kitchen, you gain an extra cabinet over here. See you how sure it turns do. around and goes? Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got. Let me see, Amanda. What do we got here? I can't pick nothing open. Oh, look. Oh, that opens like that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, Rob made access in here. I mean, and oh, look, back here in the back. Don't the say it. Box. Don't say it. Why? Okay. Was oh, that bad? No. Oh. Here. Uh. Now you got four drawers. Look how close them. Oh my goodness. How close they come to that door. Mm-mm. Wow. So we don't have pulls on here because that's kind of a customized thing a you would do. Thing. Um, they're not finished. You guys will stain them, urethane them, and put your pulls on them. Look what a big how wide is this? Wide. Yep. They got a nice countertop. This is regular is 24 to 26 inches with the top. Sharma called it an L shaped kitchen. Yeah. And in your bathroom is a 32 inch shower. It has a sink and a toilet, Amanda. Look in here. My third's the sink. So everybody's going to say, how can you use that sink? I'm going to look at, look, I'm walking out of the shower. Okay. I'm going to watch your. And feet. this is what really is intriguing about that sink. Okay. It's like when I get out of the shower, it's not in my way. No. You see that? Mm -hmm. If you had a vanity, there's no way oh, you're going to no get way. in and out of there. Right. Also, let if I'm... The, let me get over here. And I'm not using toilet. I'm just going to like read, right? I'm going to relax. <laughs> this you going to be on your to, phone. You come to relax. So, sometimes my magazine's on the other side, right? So, I got to <laughs> grab this. Sorry. And grab this, right? So you can see. Um, sometimes I got to tie my shoe, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna lean over. <laughs> see how it's? See how this is working? Yeah. You know, I got a scratch. Stop. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. So this, um, the width of this is 32 inches, mm. not 36. Okay. And we're still getting a sink, a shower, a toilet, and a water heater in this bathroom. Okay. That's a lot of stuff going on in a 32 in inch bathroom. wide bathroom. Mm -hmm. And of course, and I'm I'm a massive guy. I think I'm pushing 300 pounds. And look how much room I got. Where? Should I'm, I look somewhere else for it? Am I? I mean, that, am I not that big? <laughs> Where? Where's the rest of you? <laughs> Man, let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Well, what are you, I gotta get my stuff. I mean, how many homes have we went through? One, two, three, four, five, five. Six, five or six, seven, six, seven homes. Whew. I gotta get back to work. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this show, walking through the homes that we have just right out here on the lot. This is just a fraction of the homes that we have in here. Inside our shop, we've got another 10 homes. We just started two Hobbit houses. You're gonna love these hobbit houses. They are being built as a piece of art and we're building them. We don't have a, we have a set floor plan but then we're just throwing stuff and you're gonna see how those come about. Excited about that. Um, we've also got 10 other homes. We got our ESP panel homes. So if you're looking for your 10 by 20 to be built, your eight by 24s, I know there are so many people needing their homes and we're doing, yes. I just wanna let you know, you guys gotta know even though we have fun on these videos and we act like we're just like lollygagging Crazy. around, this is massive, serious to Very. us. Um, your your money, your investment in us, in our homes, is everything to every person that works here. It's, it's a pretty serious thing. Um, but we like to have fun and we like to just bring you guys a little bit of lightheartedness in this business. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably more who we are, but we don't get to be that way when this camera goes off. Because as soon as that door opens and I'm gone, it's back to the real core of 
just get things done, chop, chop, you know. So it's hard to be, and so that's why we actually enjoy coming sometimes to bring you videos. We're able to just relax for the, you know, the next 45 minutes to be with you guys mm -hmm. and enjoy doing it. So your comments it's and what you guys do, yeah. it's nice to know we have people supporting. It's like somebody calling in and say, hey, we just, we're just glad you're alive today and right. we like what you're doing. So, you know, it's taken a lot of years of our time to get to this point, to have people follow us. You wouldn't believe the sacrifices that we've done to this point for people to trust us, believe in who we are as a company, and then believe in the future of this company mm -hmm. by creating 160 home sites, buying 160 acres across the street. And when everybody thought we would never do it, I'd fall on my face, we'd run out of money, we would never happen, and we're still alive and we're still moving. Yeah, that's so, right. It's a big story behind everything, who we are it and what is. we are. And the only reason I say it is I hope it encourages somebody to never give up on your dreams. And if you ever want to have a little bit of a dream motivational story, get on with us and you'll see where we come from. And I think it's cool because everybody has a story. Um, the only reason we get to vocalize this is because we've taken the time and the investment to come on YouTube and, sh and share with you our life, you know. Oh. So if, if you guys will give us a thumbs up, too, that'll help us. Yeah, what? Um, the other, if you'll hold that out to where I can... Um, yeah, you got that announcement. announcement. Yeah, exactly. What I want to do is I'm just going to tell everybody I sent a... Um, well, you probably wouldn't put it on me. I just thought that looks kind of stupid. Okay. Um, everybody... Well, I had forgotten, actually, that Kelly is off on Wednesdays. So I sent, I wrote a letter this morning to all the residents here, the people that are here on property. So they haven't got the letter yet uh, because I forgot Kelly doesn't work today. Uh, but she'll be sending it out tomorrow. And what it's asking them is that we're going to start involving because so much has changed here on the property at Incredible Properties. You know, Incredible Properties um, out there, uh, the forest, the beach, the prairie, and we got people already living here. So I have asked them, whoever wants to sign up and schedule um, a YouTube time, we're going to feature customers, their homes, what they're doing. Uh, they're going to share their um, stories, their backstory, what got them here, whatever they want to share. Their gardening. You wouldn't believe what these people are out here doing right now. Um, we've got, I don't know, how many is out there now? 40? Uh, Probably 40. Every home is just coming on. Man. Everybody has been working on their homes. They're working on their yards. They're really proud of it. Uh, I've been talking with Donna over here, um, and she's just so excited. She sent me some little teaser pictures of what's going on with her home and stuff. Just great. I've been watching them on Facebook, but what we want to do is maybe do like a weekly segment, a YouTube live show dedicated to one of the customers out here, one of the residents, and just talk with them. And you can ask them questions. Why did they come? Why did they choose Tiny? What would they change about their home? What do they love about their home? What are they What are they gardening? What do they do for, where do you shop at? Where do you get coffee? What? Like <laughs> exactly. So I think that'll be fun. I think it'll be invaluable feedback for people who was uh, thinking about maybe coming to the mountain because listen we're sold out here we're completely sold out here so there's no we're not trying to sell anything around here this is this is full tilt it's all already done um but the mountain if you're thinking about coming to the mountain they're going to share their stories and what they do their hobbies or a group or whatever they're doing here and i think you guys will love that I think yeah. so. Won't oh, they? that's a great idea. We've I think been so waiting too. for that opportunity. Oh my gosh, since we started developing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're thinking 160 homes yeah. and families and everybody's got a story yeah. to tell. And we want know? to go through everybody's home. Now there's some people that's not going to want to do that. They want to stay private. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But there are people, they have worked very hard on their homes. They're very proud of it. This will be a chance for maybe family members uh, all at the same time can see where their loved one is and where they're living and their surroundings and who they're with, friends, everything. So uh, you just won't believe, if you're not following it on the Facebook group, uh, you're not going to believe what they're doing out there in the forest. What's the name of the Facebook? Oh my gosh, I can't, they'll have to say, isn't it okay. incredible? We used to have it. It used to be ours, the Facebook. Uh, we started it and then we gave it to the people. We just gave it to the followers to, to manage. Um, so they have yeah. it. Incredible fans of tiny homes or incredible, it's yeah. something like that. Okay. Um, 
You'll have to ask some of them. Um, but anyway, I think that'll be fun. I think you'll like it. Um, I've talked to Cleo about a certain segment that I want to do with her. Um, I know Michelle, she's ready to show her home, I believe. Yeah. So I just want to give everybody plenty of time. And I told them, I said, hey, make notes uh, about anything because, you know, people aren't used to it like us. Me and Randy don't care to be on film. We don't uh, We don't care. But we'll keep them going and talking, and you all can ask questions, and, and I think everybody will have a good time. So. Awesome. Anyway, thank you. So, hey, when's that going to start? Um, as soon as I, well, Kelly will send out the letter tomorrow. So as soon as somebody schedules with me, books with me, um, we'll do it. We're ready. So um, I'm ready when they're ready. So we were giving them time to get moved in. A lot of people were ordering furniture, waiting on stuff. They were waiting on stuff too, waiting on fridges, waiting on furniture. You know, stuff like that. Uh, they want to get their yards real pretty. So this is they're going to be. They're excited to show their place, so. Good. I think, is everybody saying they'll like it? Would you oh, like man, that? Yeah, great idea, great idea. Everybody's, Good. I think this is a wonderful idea. And everybody will get to meet. <laughs> oh, well. I'm almost cured, everybody. He's Don't almost worry, cured. He's almost, almost cured. cured. Eat, another, eat another apple. Yeah. Um, anyway, but um, I think, and you all will get to know the actual, you know, it'd be like first name basis. You're going to know if you're coming here. You're going to get to meet them on there. You'll get to see what they look like. You're going to know their name. You're going to get familiar with everybody. Um, the the majority of the people here, they're lifers. They're not going anywhere, yeah. are they? Awesome. Yeah, they're staying here. So this is where, their... Where else are you going to go to have a place this awesome? It's awesome. And it, it's cheap. It's their, it's their forever home. Cheap. And you know what? They say not to say cheap, but it is cheap. It is cheap. Compared to what we've been told... It's $200 a month. Come on. What were they paying? Stop. Were they paying $500 a month? $550? Thirty-five. They were paying five hundred and thirty-five dollars for a camping. Uh, what was it called? A camp uh, lot. Yeah. What camp is it? Lot. Yeah, RV. Camp spot. Camp spot. Yeah. Camp spot. Camp. Yes. RV awesome. spot. Okay. Yeah. I Here, would love. Here, let me give I think you gonna say goodbye. Who is? No, you can say goodbye. I'm gonna sign off. You can sign off. Oh, my and eyes got, be... My eyes went cross-eyed when oh, I sneezed. Oh Lord. I went. Oh, and listen, another thing. Another I forgot another thing. Here. Another, hold on. Another thing, we are going to catch up on the postcards. We're terrible about this. Right. We're the worst. I mean, we're not no Bob Barker here, I'll tell you. We we have really dropped the ball on Does that. Bob Barker do postcards? No. I'm just saying he's a game show person. Like, it's a, it's a show. Shows? Well, it, we said it was. We did. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we'll catch up on that. And we have gotten some gifts here lately that I want to share with everybody. I opened up a card that a woman sent to me, and I almost cried. And I will show you why Aww. on Friday. It was very sweet. We get some really nice. We get some really, and we got uh, the sweatshirt. Who sent the sweatshirt? I'm washing it for Randy. It's going to fit him. And oh, we got all yeah, kinds of fun I stuff. Yeah, I like a black sweatshirt. Beautiful. And Matt told me when he took the uh, gypsy wagon, the covered yeah. wagon, up to Matt and Sal up yeah. in New Jersey. He was bombarded the whole way up there. Everybody loved the house. He said he's he said you wouldn't believe he's meeting friends. You meet people. And there's actually people texting him after they meet. And now he's corresponding with people all over the United States. That's great. He said, Hey man, how you doing, Matt? And he's building relations. It's great. There's something about I don't know what it is. It's almost like you know how you got all the Harley people are together? Yeah. All the tiny home people. It's almost like um when we were over there in uh, North Carolina. Yeah. And toured, I don't know if you want to say her name, toured her house that mm -hmm. night. Remember? She Lynn's. Was, Lynn, okay. Yeah. Lives over to the house. Mm -hmm. Lynn Vale. Yeah. And she said, and I thought, and I never thought about it. She goes, you know what? I don't like it here because there's RVs here. That's right. She said, I want more tiny home people. Mm -hmm. And there's something about when you go into tiny home. Same mindset. Everybody's got the same mindset, man. Mm -hmm. So that's why everybody's wanting tiny homes around them. And that's why, you know, we want all tiny homes in our community. We yeah. got some people that are living in their RVs until they can afford their tiny home. And hopefully we can help them get in their tiny home in the near future. Danielle Bloom, she just said up here in the Seattle area, RV park spots go from $600 to $900. Said it's crazy up here in Western Washington. Wow. Whatever. Oh my gosh. Two hundred. Two hundred dollars. You won't believe what it looks like, everybody. How's it look, man? Oh, it looks nice. Donna sent me two or three pictures. She texted me at midnight last night and sent me a picture. Donna, go to bed. <laughs> well, I would. To be fair, she know I wasn't in bed either. I was on Facebook, 
So she knew that, so she texts me. Can I can I kind of like say that you guys don't get up at 4.30 and go to the gym and work out or nothing like that, man? Uh, I do not. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't I, I mean, say it? I mean, you just it? put it out there. Well, I wouldn't dare go to the gym at 4.30 in the morning. I got more sense than that. <laughs> <laughs> My God. You big dummy. You big dummy. <laughs> I ain't going to no gym at 4.30. I know, I'm ready to go back now. Oh. <laughs> okay. There. Everybody have a great night. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, get back to work before everybody leaves here. Uh, God, we got so much going on. So one day, much. one day, I'm gonna write down everything that happens in the day with me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read them out to you, and I'm gonna show you the kind of the schedule that we are on here. Yes. Um, it's I'm not talking about Amanda. Okay. I'm talking about you know. Uh, let's not discuss my schedule. But you would really, I think, it would encourage you to know. How hard we really do work here yeah. and everything that's involved. I never dreamed the components involved to get a home out of here. And then you multiply that by how many homes we got going out plus the personalities oh, yeah. of the people. I remember I built a house for somebody and he said, hey, how many employees do you have? And I said, I don't know. It was like 30 or 40. And he said, oh my God. He goes, I got nine and I, I don't want any more than that because I can't deal with their drama. That's what he said. You know, and I thought, I, did, I don't mind the drama. Everybody has a life, you know, and I don't know, for some reason, I like knowing what these guys are going through. If we can help them, it's mm -hmm. not just a job. Man, leave these guys what they go through. You know, it's in your own personal life. Mm -hmm. They're going through some relationship times. Really hard times. stuff. I go through stuff. I got drama. You know, I got drama in my life. It's, you know, drama is just life. Mm -hmm. Drama, what we call it, is when somebody makes more of what you have. And they blow it out of proportion. Correct. That's drama. Mm -hmm. But life is life. And you have... Life and is life. every day, I get smacked or punched. But you know what? You got to learn to take that hit and keep mm -hmm. going. Yep. Have a great evening. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes. And I hope this video encouraged you to come back and not turn us off. <laughs>